Hello, thank you for joining us today. Today I'm going to go over how to install your e-stationery that you purchased from us. So if you could follow along. First step you need to do is open up your Outlook and you'll have some files that were sent to you from us. There might be one email, there might be two emails, depending on your system and if you have a quarantine type of system we will send you a second email that will just inform you that we sent you your files. So you're going to have to watch for them and pick them out of quarantine if need be and follow the necessary steps. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Outlook and you'll have a file with an attachment. It might look like a paper clip like this where you can click on. And over here on this side, let me readjust this for you. This is what the attachments might look like. You'll have a questionnaire which will be a PDF format and you'll have a folder file. It's also called a zip file. It has the zip and the end like this. It looks like a little yellow folder. First thing you need to do for our steps to work, you need to get the zip file here onto your desktop. You can do this a number of ways. You can actually left click over this icon. When it highlights, you can drag it to your desktop. You'll see the little plus by your arrow here and you can release it, release the button, the left button and it will make a copy for you. Another way you can do this is if you right click on it and save as and you can save it to your desktop and click on save. You already have a copy there. You would obviously just put it on there. It wouldn't show up this, this way. But it would make a copy as well. So from here you can minimize this, this email and I'm going to drag this out here so you can see it a little bit better. Here's your zip file that we sent to you and the first step you need to do is double click and open that up. That would be left clicking two times. Depending on what type of stationery you order from us, you might get an e-letterhead, an e-replier. Some people just get the e-replier. This will be a full tutorial for e-letterheads and e-repliers. The e-letterhead is being used for new emails and the e-replier for replies and forwards. You'll have a please read these ter terms and conditions. We won't be moving this file at all. I'll be showing you how to install the e-letterhead and e-replier. So with this window open, some people have dual monitors, some people have single monitors. So what I'm going to do is show you how to maneuver the windows so that they are easiest to install. You can move this left and right here if you need to. To resize a window, in the bottom right hand corner you can click, left click on it and you should be able to maneuver this window however big you would like it. So with this window a smaller size we need to open another window. That's why I resized it. The next window we need to open up is your stationery and your signature windows. So what we need to do is go down in the lower left hand corner or wherever your start menu may be. Click on your start menu now you have a little search bar in this lower box here. Click in that search box, left click, to get your cursor. And what you need to type in is a percent sign, which is shift and five. You want that percent sign in there, and then you want to type in app, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, and a percent sign. So it'll say percent sign, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, percent sign, and then you want to press return or enter on your keyboard. This will open up a separate window. This is called the roaming folder. You can resize this if you wish. These are the two, fo two windows we need side by side with each other. From this roaming folder you need to double click with your left button and open the Microsoft folder. In the Microsoft folder you're looking for your signatures folder which looks like this. You double click and open that up. If you look at the bar just to confirm you're in roaming Microsoft signatures, what you need to do is drag two different things into here. The signatures folder is where your e-replier files go. What you want to do is navigate back to your zip file over on the left hand side here and left click just one time to highlight the folder that reads e-replier. I should note also that you'll have two folders and two HTML folders. Sometimes they might look like a Word, Word folder, it might look like an Internet Explorer folder, depending on what platform you're using for your Internet. 
So depending on what type of computer you have is what these will look like. They might look like this Chrome document, it might look like an Internet Explorer document, or it could look like a Word document. What you're, what you're worrying about is the two e-replier files. They're kind of married together, so this is a very important step where you need to highlight the folder. Now hold down Control on your keyboard. While holding down Control on your keyboard, just click on this other e-replier file. Now they're both highlighted, you can let go of the control button and what you're going to do is click on either one of these icons, click on it and drag it into the signature window, anywhere in this empty window here and what you want to do is release that in there. So once it's copied over, what you need to do is click on your back arrow in the upper left hand corner and now what we want to do is open a stationary folder here. On rare occasion there is no stationary folder. So I'm going to delete that. So if you come into this and there is no stationary folder, all you have to do is click on new folder and create one. And you want to name it properly S T A T I O N E as an echo R Y. Our stationary folder is created. All you have to do is double click and open that up with your left button. Double click. Na so navigate back to your folder, your stationary folder, and you want to select the folder that reads e letterhead. Hold down Control on your keyboard and select the other file that also reads e letterhead. You can release the Control button, and what you want to do is click and drag these into the stationary folder and release them in there and it'll make a copy for you. And there they are. From here, both of your files were moved in here, so what you can do is you can X out of these windows or close both of these windows and we're done with the file transfer portion of the install. From here, open up Outlook and this is where we're setting up your files. With Outlook open, go up to File in the upper left hand corner, down to Options, and we want to click on Mail. Typically this is set to rich text or plain text, this drop down menu here under Compose Message, it says Compose Message in this format, you want to make sure that reads HTML, so change it if necessary. Once that's changed, you'll want to click on your Signatures button down here. This is what the Signatures window will look like when it comes up. Now your changes you want to make in here are to set up your e-replier. You'll set up your e-letterhead in a different location. So the first thing you need to do is this new message is here should say None. So if it says something, make sure it says None. You might have to scroll up, you might have to scroll down depending how many signatures you have stored. Your replies forwards, if you click on this little arrow, your e-replier should show up in there. Here it is, so you want to select that. So again, this should say new message is none. Replies forwards should be your e-replier. From here, you want to click on the personal stationery tab in the upper left hand corner. And this is where we're setting up your e-letterhead. You want to click on this theme button. And if you scroll down in this list anywhere, you'll find your, depending on what your file is named, certain companies start with different things, so mine is under BMM here. So I'll click on this and here's my ear letterhead. Once that shows up in here, you want to click on OK. And then click on OK again. And click OK again. Now everything should be set up as it, as it is. Now what you want to do first is test out this email by clicking on New Email. and everything showed up here. So what you want to do is send an email to yourself. Maybe write test. Now this is a little bit tricky for some people to understand. From the subject line you cannot hit tab and it won't jump down to where you need to. So you have to physically click. It's about two lines above where your name is here. You physically click with your cursor and then you can type in here. This is a test. 
Now, from here, you cannot check your links or anything. None of that will work until after you send your email. So what you want to do is send your email to yourself. Take a minute to expedite it. You can click in the upper left-hand corner. You can click that a couple times. Sometimes it goes a little. And it showed up here, so you can click on it. And everything should be functioning. If you hover over, you'll see the info at brandmymessage.com, and you should see everything working properly. And you should be able to click on it and test it out. Now, you want to make sure you test out your e-replier as well, so make sure to click on reply, and it should pop up as well. There's my e-replier, and this is a test. And send that as well. I should note too some with the some of the e-stationaries. Let me click a reply again. It shows up with a white white line like that. You'll see when I receive my email, it corrects itself in the shipping process. So once it gets sent, that little line will not show up there. And here's my test. I double clicked on it. Um, it shows up just as it should, no line or anything. So. Everything seems to be functioning just fine. All my links work, and that's all you have to do. Should you have any problems beyond this, please give us a call, and we'll definitely walk you through the process a little bit slower, break it down for you. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope this video has helped you out.